Um, Daisy, in Meghan Markle's latest podcast episode with Paris Hilton, uh, she claims she had to quit her deal or no deal job. I didn't know she was on that, but anyway, uh, because it reduced her... Oh, hang on. I better... I'll, I'll choose my words carefully. According to her, it reduced her to a bimbo. What did you make of this, Daisy? Well, look, um... First of all, Meghan Markle getting upset and feeling objectified that a job she took that was a, a modelling job where she was meant to stand and be objectified, upsetting her, sort of doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you don't want to be objectified, don't take a job where you have to stand and look good for certain <laughs> periods of time. But, but Rowan, uh, she is so behind the times. Meghan Markle doesn't seem to realise that the word bimbo, that, that whole archetype, is having a massive resurgence on TikTok amongst Generation Z. I'm quite serious. Gen Z women have reclaimed the bimbo archetype and are turning it into this sort of anti-capitalistic, communistic push to sort of, you know, stick it to the man. It's the antithesis of girl boss feminism, which was my generation and Meghan Markle's generation. These women are saying, no, we're not girl bosses. We, we, we just don't want to do anything because we think the whole system sucks, sucks and they dress like bimbos and it's absolutely hysterical. She is so not trendy, honestly, <laughs> and that she has totally missed this. It's just another sign of how irrelevant she is. She can't even get pop culture right. Well, Tim, I'm a bit disappointed because uh, clearly the uh, producers of Deal or No Deal didn't recognise the towering intellect and the extraordinary philosophical <laughs> brain that they were dealing, had right in front of them <laughs> holding the suitcase, and instead they just looked at her as supposedly an attractive woman. This is extraordinary stuff. It's also extraordinary that, that she answered, I presume, an ad, maybe in Variety, one of the trade magazines, that basically screamed auditions. Bimbo! That was the whole job description. It was the whole ad. For the love of God, woman. Anyway, I could go on, but I guess, you know, a bit of lingering business because I missed out on the audition, but, you know, hey, you know, there was a break. I'm I, not going to say anything, but, you know, casting couch, yeah. yeah I, think, I think they missed a trick not getting you, Tim, uh, with the suitcase <laughs> up there on the stage. That would have been great. That would have been a great oh, show. Yeah. <laughs>